Well, welcome to our Coffee in the Clouds today in our sales center. We are honored to receive our super architecture, Carlos Otti. Thank you, Carlos Otti, to come to us and have this interview here. We're super excited. Karini, thank you very much for inviting me to this Coffee in the Clouds. Our pleasure. You're so welcome. each of us <laughs> have uh, interesting questions to you. And um, from uh, a lot of people asking us, what, walk us through through the evolution of the design of this amazing conception of the cubes. Well, it was a unique experience, as you can imagine. Not every day an architect is asked to do an iconic building, 100 story high, with a famous brand in the center of the city in North America today, because I believe that Miami is growing. So we, from day one, knew that we had to do a unique building in a fabulous site, and the intention was not to do a building. The intention was to do a sculpture, a piece of art, because we knew that the next photographs, the next postal cards of Miami was going to be this building. I believe that uh, what we tried to do was to do something that did not exist. If you allow me to, do some, to say something obvious, was that we wanted to design something out of the box. We did not do a box. We did nine boxes, and we <laughs> put them all in different locations. From day one, this project was done by two persons, Ryan Shear and myself. I'll say Ryan Shear was 80% of the father of this creature. I'm not more than 20% because he was the mind behind it. And we did, he allowed me to drink some red wine. I was in Paris uh, with a six hour <laughs> difference with the East Coast. So he was calling me at 9 o'clock in the morning here, which was my afternoon and vice versa. So I worked nonstop, and we had this crazy solution. Eventually, we teamed up with a top architects from Florida, uh, Charlie Seeger and Suarez. Seeger Suarez, with whom we had collaborated before, came and said, oh, come on, guys, come to reality. And somehow the building took its logic, and that's the result. I think that is the combination of the wild thoughts that uh, Ryan and I had. And then came uh, Charlie and said, no, come on, guys, this is for serious, and that's the result. That's amazing. I have another question, Carlos, and thank you for, ha for coming to our Coffee in the Clouds. Um, what does Waldorf Astoria, because it's, it is a very important brand for our city, what does Waldorf Astoria for you represent, and how it, did its heritage or its heritage was included in the architecture of the property? Diana, as you say, uh, World of Astoria is, is a name that's known around the world. In the 1930s, at Park Avenue, World of Astoria built the highest hotel in the world. A building that today is a landmark nominated as such by the city of New York. And it was the tallest hotel building in the world until the story says that uh, a member of the Soviet Supreme said, oh, Americans cannot have the tallest building, and they built a taller tower in Moscow in the 1960s. But for decades, Waldorf was the tallest building in the world. So for me, that Waldorf Astoria, with this landmark building in Park Avenue, the center of New York, moves to the tallest building in uh, Miami, is quite logical. So they will be in the highest structure in Miami. So tell us a little bit more, Carlos. Um, I know this is your fifth collaboration with PMG, so that means you have a long-term relationship with them. And tell us a little bit more of that and your love for the city of Miami. Well, I had a pleasure to meet uh, Kevin and uh, Ryan way back. They had just, uh, their first investment was in uh, the north of Miami. We did a project called Sage, not a hundred story high, actually only five story high. Uh, beautiful because it's you have your feet in the beach. And uh, you have to go to Golden Beach to find a similar location than these beautiful little buildings. From there, we went to uh, Brickell Aventura, uh, Eco Brickell, uh, Muse, uh, Eco uh, 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 and uh, now, of course, uh, as you say, World of Astoria. It's been a, a very interesting relationship. Uh, Kevin is a fabulous guy. He's doing the tallest presidential tower in New York, and obviously he's doing the tallest residential tower in Florida. He's doing the tallest building in Manhattan, residential, and he's doing the tallest structure in, uh, in this part of the world. How many sketches did you finally did you do to come up with the creation of Waldorf? I should have kept them. 
because uh, I would have a mountain. And if they were to pay me a penny for each of the sketches, I would be a billionaire. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. They didn't wow. pay me a penny. Worse, they all went to the garbage, you see, I imagine. Oh. But we did, we, uh, I work with Ryan and Kevin. Now, Ryan is, is worse than me. I, I am focused. But he's double focused. He's looking way ahead of the future. And uh, we keep on doing drawings and drawings. As, we have to do something unique. It's a site that re requests, uh, forces us to come with something that nobody thought about it. And I kept on coming with ideas, which I thought I was bringing. And I was calling him, oh, I'm sleeping, I don't care, I have this solution, send it to me. I said, no, it's not good enough. And like that, I said, beautiful designs going to the garbage. But I think that uh, final analysis, one day, somehow, I'm not sure if it was he or I or both, or some, some, somehow it came together, came with the idea of the cubes. And like you said, uh, it was very, very wide. And then we said, yes, this is it. We got it. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. And you know, when you have the concept, it's there. It's, uh, it's spontaneous. It's obvious. It's unquestionable. This is the solution. Thank you for the coffee. Thank I you. love Thank caffeine. You and you got me going. Thank, Thank you so much right. for the Thank you, everybody, for coming to Coffee in the Clouds. We remember we're here every other Friday. So I will stay tuned. Stay tuned, everybody. Thank you for watching us.